Hi, my name's Justin Rowland. I'm the BBC's climate editor, and I'm also very excited to be the chair of the National Housing Federation's Climate Change and Sustainability Conference, which is happening on the 24th and the 25th of May. Put it in your diary. Don't miss it because we've got a great lineup addressing an absolutely crucial issue. How social housing is going to help get the UK to net zero carbon emissions. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means squeezing all the carbon out of the UK economy. For social housing, it means ensuring our housing stock is more energy efficient and also installing low carbon systems into our homes. You'll know that housing associations and the lending community have said they get the urgency of the challenge and want to play their part. But how? It isn't going to be easy. For a start, doing the right thing sometimes means doing the more expensive thing. So where's the cash going to come from? And make no mistake, this is going to be expensive. It's going to cost a tidy sum. Savills, the estate agent, reckons that the total cost of decarbonising the whole social housing sector will be £36 billion by 2050. Yep, £36 billion. Pounds. And finance is far from the only challenge. There is so much else that we need to talk about. Who's going to do all the specialist work that needs to be done? Installing the heat pumps, putting in the insulation, the renewable technologies we need. And what about support from the government? Do we even have the policies we need in place? And perhaps most important of all, how do we bring our residents along on this important journey? We also need to look beyond just environmental benefits because there's a whole cascade of potential payoffs if we get this right. It will save our residents money. It'll help combat fuel poverty, boost the economy and create thousands of solid long-term jobs. So how will this conference help with this? Well, it's about rolling up our sleeves and solving these problems. The idea is to get everyone in the sector working together. We want the executive teams to be learning from the frontline staff and the operational staff, and yet vice versa too. And you will be hearing from the people who are leading the charge. We've lined up ministers, shadow ministers, top environmental thinkers, green business leaders and designers. And don't worry, you will be able to put your questions to them because you, the delegates, are at the centre of this event. The idea is to get everyone together to explore these new opportunities and share our optimism and, yep, our anxieties too about the challenges we all face. You will come away much better informed on what needs to be done and how the house, social housing sector as a whole is going to do it. Look out for Clive Betts's keynote address. It's day two, 25th of May. He is always interesting. I'll also be looking forward to hearing more about design in sustainable development, the role of leadership in achieving net zero and how we can get the residents involved in the process and check out some of the breakout sessions. So join me, Justin Rolat, for the National Housing Federation's Climate Change and Sustainability Conference on the 24th and 25th of May. Get it in your diary.